guys, welcome back. My name's Helena and this is Goat Gap, an educational channel for all goat enthusiasts. Today we're going to be talking how to fit an animal for show, specifically dairy goats. This is in honor of missing all those county fairs, state fairs, and national shows. Use this as an opportunity to brush up on your clipping skills and get your animal looking as great as possible. It's important that we fit our animals to the best of our ability because it showcases their unique qualities and greatest assets. So without further ado, let's jump in and how to clip your dairy goat. A good reliable clippers and blades are key. Anderson Wall are my preferred brand. While attending a show, doe should be clipped with a 10 blade. And for early shows, a seven blade because it allows for extra hair growth. I then use bigger clippers for a fast body clip and a scissors and brush to assist with trimming the tail head. Also make sure your clippers are well oiled before you get started. Before I begin to clip, I prepare the tail head, also known as the paintbrush. I locate the tail head and save about an inch to an inch and a half of hair. I make sure to cut the hairs even and square so that they look prim and proper. Once I have trimmed all the tail hairs, I once again locate the tail head and begin to take the clippers and shave downwards. Make sure to hold your hand over the excess hairs so that you don't shave them all off. You want to make sure to give yourself about an inch of safe room to trim up at the end. The next shaving technique I'll be demonstrating is a dairy clip. This clip can be used for early shows to allow the doe to keep as much hair as possible while also showing off her greatest assets. First, I start at the end of her tail and I go about two to three inches in on her body. I don't clip very far as to allow just to show off the nice angulation. From there, I'll shave up her udder and go only to the end of her hocks. Now that Rosie's tail is all shaven and we've demonstrated the dairy clip, we'll go over how to do a full body clip. In this video, I only decided to trim half of the goat as to show off her assets and what it would look like if your goat was unshaven for show. It can make a big difference. So you'll see me using this large clipper. As long as it has a 10 blade, any size should be fine. I just like to go on her belly and her sides as it goes much faster with a bigger blade. They also don't get hot nearly as fast. So away we'll go. You want to make sure to get all the hairs. I use this big clippers on big portions of her body, neck, and to her knees and hocks. And from those areas, 
farther down, I'll use a smaller clippers, still with a size 10. That's when I bring the andis back in to get those small hairs and in between her toes. If needed, it's important that you get eye level with the area you are trying to shave. Make sure you get all those extra hairs that hide up in the armpits and inside the thigh. Also make sure to keep cleaning and brushing away any stray hairs along the way. You might notice a wardrobe here in this frame. That's because we had severe rainstorms while I was in the middle of shaving. So now that we've got all changed, we can start back on Rosie. I decided to start shaving her head. Make sure to use your hands to cover up their eyes so that you don't poke them. Make sure you get those extra eyelashes and nose hairs and make sure to get inside those long Nubian ears. Even if you don't have Nubians, make sure to trim those hairs. <laughs> 